Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. It's a case of weather extremes right now across the country. From snow in the north to extreme dryness in the Midwest and still out in the west. We'll start with the snow, where Michigan's upper peninsula could see up to a foot of snow by the end of today. The snow started falling early Monday morning in places like Houghton, Michigan. This video taken along one of Michigan Tech University's Tech Trails. The snow, part of a larger low pressure system spinning right now over the Great Lakes and Wisconsin as well. Ag Day Weather, brought to you by AGI Nico. AGI Nico dryers have an average of one to two pounds heavier test weight per bushel than screen dryers. They can also save you 30% on average in fuel savings. That's money in your pocket. Visit aggrowth.com slash Nico for more information. Meteorologist Andrew Wittmeyer joins us this morning. And Andrew, that's not the only system you're tracking right now that could bring some moisture. And yeah, we are tracking that one main system right now throughout the Great Lakes and Midwestern states. But later on this week and the next weekend, we could be looking at it becoming a little more active across parts of the Pacific Northwest. But check out these temperatures here as we go throughout the daytime hours today. Uh, they're going to be quite chilly across parts of the Midwest. And in fact, uh, by tomorrow morning, uh, we could be looking at those temperatures 35 in Chicago, 43 in Minneapolis, and then by the afternoon getting up to about 48 in Chicago, 37 up across parts of the upper peninsula of Michigan. So quite the chilly air. In fact, take a look at the feel like temperature, the wind chill, what it will feel like on the exposed skin. Check out Omaha, 16 degrees uh, tomorrow morning is what it could feel like as this uh, low begins to uh, deepen further across the parts of the Great Lakes. And it's going to stick around here through about the mid portion of the week. And then we're going to see kind of a zonal pattern shaping up as we head towards the weekend before a slight ridge begins to build up across the Great Lakes area. And that will eventually uh, lead to a trough system developing up across parts of the Pacific Northwest, giving with it a little more active uh, potential there for some showers across the parts of the northwestern parts of the country. And check out this terrific shot of a very good boy, Jake Aria of Minto, Manitoba, says this is his golden boy at the golden hour during harvest season of 2022. You can tell he really is enjoying the life of a farm dog. I'll more in your Ag Day forecast in just a few minutes.